Blog Talk Radio. Radio, you in the building, 205. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Am I on air? Yes, you are. Hi. I'm just calling in to listen to the interview. Yes. Darren Jones, right? Thank you. Yes. Okay. So is he going to be calling in on the next few? I don't know. I just called the number. <laughs> oh, 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 you're a fan. I'm a fan, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on for a second. He'll be calling in. <laughs> Hold <Hey>. on. <laughs> Y'all know me from the uh, multi-platinum R&B group 112. Yes, I'm still in the group, and yes, we're still doing shows together as we speak. And right now, the new album that I'm putting out solo is called Reinvention. And Reinvention is basically to take something that's familiar and make an improved version of it. So that's really what I'm doing on this album is just improving myself as an artist, as an entertainer, as a singer, songwriter, producer, all of the above. So that's really... uh, the direction that I'm taking with the album. Okay. All right, so any um any features or anything like that that people might uh want to hear about? No, there's no features on the album, it's just me. Okay. All right. So um any is there a reason why you went that route? Because you know a lot of people they usually, you know, fill their album up. You know, it's it's kinda nice and refreshing to hear just one artist on an album, but why did why did you choose to go that route? Well, it's all about the feeling of it, you know, like when I'm making music, I just go by what I feel and I go by, you know, what what feels right to me. So if I if I have a song and I feel like, okay, this song would sound good with this person, then, you know, I try to reach out and make that happen. But, you know, if I really just don't, um, if creatively it doesn't make sense, then I just, you know, keep it moving, you okay. know. All right, that's what's up, man. So before we have these... Uh Fans on hold too long. Let's let's get someone on the line right now. Okay. Two or five. What's up? What's up? You on the line with Deron Jones? Hi. How are you? Hey. Hey. What's cracking like? Hey. I just want to say what's up. I'm just gonna listen to the interview. I don't have anything to say today. <laughs> but I'm just excited. I'm excited to hear the interview. So. Okay. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. All right, cool. So we're going to, uh, what's your name? My name's Natasha. Natasha. Okay, where are you from? Yes. Where are you from? Oh, gosh. Natasha is from everywhere. <laughs> I'm from, um, from Texas, from Alabama, everywhere. Okay. What's up, what's right, up that's Natasha? What's up. Appreciate you calling in. You're welcome. Yeah, I was I was like surprised. I didn't know I was going to speak with you. But either way, it's always a pleasure. I'm just running out of things to say, so you just have to forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. All right. Thanks. All right, I'm going to put I'll you on hold, okay? All right, I appreciate it. No problem. Bye. All right. So, um, uh, 
So what's the you, know, you already spoke on the status of um, 112. You guys are still together. Like, is it all the um, original members or how, how, yeah. how does that work? Yeah, it's all original members. Okay. So uh, what was are you, what's the status of like the record label situation? Are you guys currently signed to a label or you're doing like uh, independent? As far as the group is concerned. Right now we're just touring. Okay. And uh, not affiliated with any label. Okay. Is is that something you guys are interested in, or is like right now you're just touring? And because I mean, with the name 112, you guys can tour forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now that's what it is. We just doing, you know, doing tour dates. Okay. All right. So what what keeps you motivated to um, you know, do the music and everything for so long? Because you know um. With the ups and downs of the music industry, we we see that a lot of people lose their motivation over time. What keeps you going? Right. Um, you know, it's just the way that I express myself. I mean, music is very personal to me, and it's and it's and it's one of the, most, the ways that I really express myself in my life and, and what I'm going through. And and it's um and I'm always inspired to make music just because of the way that people, you know, respond to it and just being able to touch people in a positive way with it. Okay. You know, one thing that I miss kind of about R&B is, like, you know, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, you didn't have so much rap in in the music. You know what I mean? It was like just straight R&B albums with, with no rappers. And I kind of miss that R&B because, to me, like, every new singer that comes out, everybody wants to rap. You know, how do you, how do you right, feel right. about that? Um, you know, I... I'm I'm down with that, you know. I think I think just freedom of expression is the move for me, you know what I mean? So I mean I'm I'm cool with it. I just think um I just think freedom of expression is just, just the way to go. I mean if you feel like you wanna sing, you wanna rap, you wanna dance, you know, whatever it is that you wanna do, you just do it and then you express yourself in that way. And then some people will like that from you and then other people will prefer that if you did something else. But I don't think okay. that you should um I don't think that you should uh, pigeonhole a person being creative and just kind of just doing whatever the music is that they feel. Okay. All right. That's that's definitely. I I can feel that most definitely. Um. So as as far as um, you know, some things that you're working on. Are you are you working on anything outside of music? Like, because a lot of artists are doing like clothing lines and um, you know, acting and stuff like that. Is there any other interest outside of music? Well, I do have a couple of interests, but right now, you know, the primary focus is just the music and, you know, finishing up the reinvention album and actually just working out and rehearsing every day and preparing uh, to shoot the video to uh, Baby Let Me Prove It. That's going to be the first video that I shoot, so that's really, you know, my main thing right now. Okay. All right, so this is going to be an official album, not a mixtape? No, nah, this ain't, it's not a mixtape. Okay. I see, you know, right. so I, I see that people uh, do mixtapes. I think it's a good look. It's just, you know, to give the public some free. I think it's a good look. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was thinking about, you know, putting putting a mixtape out just to give some free music away, you know, to the fans mm-hmm. and, you know, just just to have more content in the mix. But I, I was just, me personally, I'm just like, okay, you're gonna put some music out. You just may as well sell it. Okay. You know, because right, you definitely. may as well sell it. You may as well let it be an album. You know, give the fans a chance to support you. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, push push everything forward that you're trying to do. But, you know, I'm not totally against the mixtape, and I actually had talked about putting one out before, and, and, I, and I probably will. But, like, when I make music, I just immediately put it on, put it up for sale. Some songs, you know, I give away for free. You know, like my single, um, Infatuation, and... Baby, let me prove it. And those two singles, you can just get them free off of my site, and I give away a lot of free music just in general like that. But, but um, just on the average, when I make a record, I just it's it's for sale immediately. <laughs> Once it's mixed and mastered, I release it. It goes right on iTunes. <laughs> that's what's up. You know, man. you know what I'm saying? Like to me, that's that's because people they want to support you. You know, giving away yeah. free music is cool, and some people they they get the music. And they, you know, but I think the fans, you know, they want to, they want to buy your music. Like people ask me all the time, where can I buy it from? No, I don't want. Okay, I, I, I know I can get the download, but you know, where can I buy it? I want to support you because, you know, of course we we expressing ourselves here, but at the same time, 
this is how you know we feed our families too. So yeah, and and you guys are more of an established brand. A lot of times, a lot of artists do mixtapes to kind of create buzz. You guys as right, you 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 guys are established brands, so you don't really have to worry about creating too much buzz. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, yeah, that's that's true. But I don't, I ain't mm-hmm. against it, you know, even for somebody that's established because sometimes, you know, it just it's just cool to do it, you know, get away from free music. But <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, when you got fans that want to support your music, it's like, you know, I give away a couple of singles, but then you know the album dropping. Exactly. Exactly. Um, do you do you have any um, up and coming events? Um, that you might want to tell the people about uh, on the calendar? Um, well, I'm actually performing this weekend with 112. We're in uh, Cary, uh, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And uh, you basically just follow me on Twitter and get all the all the official information because it's a, it's a lot of things that we're doing as a group and, and a lot of things I got coming up individually, but... Um, it's just so much going on. A lot of times I don't know those actual details, but on my Twitter page it's always going out, and you can get the details to the show in Cary this this weekend. And it's it's one twelve. It's um, I think Genuine is there, and, and a couple of other uh, acts that you know came out in the nineties. Okay, all right, that's what's up, man. So um, when you out when you out performing on stage, is there any particular gear that you like to wear? Because I know. That you know, you guys are known for you know really dressing nice and you know having the different types of um, you know uh, brands of clothing. So, is there a particular brand you like to wear on stage? Well, um, it's not really necessarily a brand that I go that I go to in particular, but you know I just like to feel comfortable and I like uh, I like to you know feel like sophistication and elegance, but still casual and hip hop. You know, but it ain't really like one particular brand. Okay. All right, like I like to call, I like to call my style uh, casual hip hop couture. That's how I do it. I just mix all of it up together. Okay. All right. So I know you worked with a uh, you know a lot of different producers and everything. Is there any producers like out there that you you know want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Um. That's a that's a good uh that's a good question. <laughs> um, right now, it ain't, it ain't really no producers that 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 are really like maybe like Dr. Drake. Okay, Dr. Drake will be that. That will be something interesting. You okay. see, he's pretty innovative. So you're, you, so you're an actual songwriter, right? You write all your songs, or do you have a team of people? Yeah, I, I write and produce. I write and produce. So I do the lyrics and the tracks to the songs. Um. Did a lot of lyrics and maybe about eighty percent of one twelve songs from Cupid to anywhere to it's over now dance with me, um, and also songs for Keisha Cole, Jamie Foxx, Usher, Pink. Um, oh, okay, that that Kelly was my Price. next question actually. Yeah, because <laughs> since you wrote so yep. many songs, I, I figured that you probably worked with people outside of the group. Yeah, yeah. So I've been doing that for a while. Okay, so what's the process like when when you go into the studio to write a song? Like, um, do you do you like have the track ready and then you go and you sit in the studio and then you write to it, or you know, um, you start with the melody? Because I know you know everybody has their own you know different techniques. Like, I don't know if you want to give your secrets out, but <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's different. Every song is different. You know, sometimes you know the best songs just come to you like immediately to the point where. You don't even have to write it on paper. You just it's just it's coming to you so fast in your mind that you just pull out your telephone or your recorder and you just you try to put it on the your recorder because the lyrics is coming so fast and the melody is coming so fast. Like most of the time that's when the best songs come. But sometimes it's just like you're going through the motions, your daily daily thing, you hit the studio, you, you create a track and you try to come up with something to it. Some sometimes the music comes that way too. So for me it's always a different process. Okay. All right. So do you ever have, um, you know, I, I hear a lot of artists talk about writer's block. Do you ever have, have you ever had that, like, where you couldn't write anything, like writer's block, something like that? Nah, I mean, for me, like, the closest thing I can think of is if, if somebody trying to get you to write something in particular. 
you know, because as a writer, you know, me as a writer and as a producer just making music, it's just something that comes natural to me. Like, it's not something that I'm trying to do. It just it just comes out. But, you know, sometimes people might call you and say, yo, I need something like this or make me something like that, you know, and that'll kind of sometimes give me a, a creative block because it's like it's not natural, you know, to try to force force creativity sometimes. Okay, so you play instruments? Yeah, I play the piano. That's that's my main yeah. instrument, but I play I play a little bit of everything, but primarily the, the piano. Like I play drums, guitar, but the piano is really like my main instrument. Okay. All right. So, um, what what artists out right now like that you that you bump in a whip when you just relax? Um, I I like Chris Brown. I, I like uh, I like Usher. Um. I like Miguel's new song, uh, Adorn. Okay. Uh, I like Beyonce's last album. It was hot. I like Watch the Throne, Jay Z and Kanye. Oh yeah, yeah, it was deaf. <laughs> Most deaf. Yeah, that album is incredible. I like that a lot. Okay. That's, that's for the most. That's what I can think of right now. All right. So, what about underground artists? Because you have so many artists. Like you named a lot of mainstream. What a who what a do you listen to underground like hip hop at all? Nah, I, I really don't listen to any any underground hip hop. Okay. Okay. All right, that's what's up. <laughs> there's a lot of good there's a lot of good underground hip hop out there, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm sure it is, but it, unfortunately, you know, a lot of times you're not listening to stuff because you're not exposed to it. And okay. it's a lot easier to be exposed to like everything that's on the mainstream is like bumping in your face every five minutes. But I'm I'm definitely yeah. open to checking it out. But a lot of times I'm just not really exposed to it. Okay. Like do you, do you check out like the blogs, like the hip hop blogs and stuff like that? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's not that's where you would probably hear all the underground on like all the hip hop blogs and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, that's what's up, man. So if if um if anybody wants to contact you, you know, like um uh you know, to find out information like w- w- what is the website, the Twitter, Facebook and all of that type of stuff. Well you can you can get at me on Twitter that's at the Ron Jones Music and my website is uh ww dot dot name dot com. But uh, once okay. you once you catch me on Twitter, you know I'm on Twitter a lot, and every everything that's uh, going on with me is constantly being pushed through Twitter. So once you once you find me on Twitter, you can pretty much find out everything from you know the shows that I'm doing with 112 to the things I'm doing individually. Um, all of that is really pumped consistently through that Twitter page. That's what's up, man. So um, we got two joints that we're going to play by um, Deron Jones today. Um, we got Safe With Me, and we have Party Time. So okay. uh, the, the the motivation for Safe With Me, where where'd you get the motivation for that song? Well, I mean, lyrically, it was just something that was real to me. You know, I think, like, you know, when you start growing up, you know, and you, you know, you get through that player phase of life, and you're like, man, you know, I want to, you know, I want to, I want one woman, you know, and that's that's really the phase that, you know, I'm at in my life. I'm 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 through with that whole player thing, and and you know, I'm at a point where you know I want that one woman in particular, and that's that's how I would want her to know that I felt about her. You know, what I'm saying that she could be safe with me, that it's all good, that you know those player days are over. Now, from a musical standpoint, I was kind of inspired by the um the uh the marriage between R&B and um. And house music, I, I really like that concept. So, I kind of, I kind of kicked it off on a couple of songs on that album. Both of these songs really is, is behind that concept. Party time and safe with me. But I think safe with me is more of an R and B approach to, you know, the house tempo because it has the harmonies and the riffs and the runs and the chord progressions and everything that you know R and B for having. That's what's up, man. So I'm sure a lot of ladies would be happy about you. Uh, Saying that you that you want to be a one woman guy. <laughs> well, you know, maybe. <laughs> it's possible. He said, "You you you heard that, right?" He switched it up real quick. He said, "Maybe." <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, maybe as far as you know, them being excited about it, maybe they will. Who knows? 
Okay, all right, that's what's up, man. But we definitely appreciate you calling in, man, taking the time out of your, your busy schedule. We know that you're finishing the album and everything. No problem, man. I appreciate you uh, having me, for real, man. Appreciate you having me. Oh, that's what's up, man. So, again, if you want to just tell um, the people your Twitter so they can contact you, um, do you, do you like, uh, accept, because we get a lot of independent producers that, you know, uh, listen to the show. Do you, like, uh, accept beats or anything like that, like uh, music? Do, do you have an email for that type of stuff? Yeah, yeah, you can... Um you can just uh, basically hit me up on Twitter, and then, you know, you can get all the information about that, and that's at Deron Jones Music on Twitter. All right, that's what's up. So um, we, we're going to get into the Safe With Me song, so maybe you might want to introduce it for the people, and we definitely appreciate you, you know, checking us out, man. And anytime you got something new, you know, just come on the show, and we'll, you know, rock it out for the people. Man, I appreciate that. It's your boy Deron Jones. You already know what it is. It's the new joint, Safe With Me. Check it out right here. You heard it first. Let's go.
Yes, if you're just checking in the state radio right now, we just had Deron Jones in the building. 112, he told us about the new project, the reinvention. So you make sure you go out and support that. You can hit him on Twitter at uh, Deron Jones. And uh, we're going to get into another joint right now. Um, it's called Party Time. Check it out. Turn up the lights, it's party time. Open the doors, it's party time. We on the bottles, it's party time. Turn up the lights in here.
tune in every Wednesday, 530 State Radio, man. Definitely thanks for calling in, homie. All right. Thank you very much, man. All right. Peace. Yeah. Tune in next week, State Radio, 530 p.m. We out.